Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're making our way over to Port Aransas. Stopping to see some sights along the way. This is the House of Boats boat yard here in Rockport. Right on Business 35, right where Cove Harbor is. And I do like to see the boats that they're working on. Looks like they got a full house here today. If you remember from the last video, we had a little bit of rain, which is good. Oh, someone left the window open. That boat's going to get all wet. I think they've made progress on that boat. It looks like they got the hull in repairable shape. That's awesome. I think there were big holes in that hull the last time we were here, but it's been a while. This definitely looks familiar. I think there's a similar one in Rockport Harbor. Everything's in different stages of repair and, what's the word? Disrepair? Look at that sky, guys. We're, we're getting our blue skies back. No sugar cane fires in Mexico sending smoke our way. And the Quebec smoke hasn't reached us, hasn't reached us yet. Nothing would surprise me any, Merle. Wow. I always feel like we're walking through dinosaur bones when we come through here. Did you ever see those movies where they go down a valley and they discover all dinosaur bones or elephant bones and they're just all amazed at how many there are that's what this reminds me of <laughs> I like the name of that boat right there or maybe not <laughs> someone's got a sense of humor the birds sound happy Ocean Alliance. There's a couple more. We'll continue our journey. Look at that sky, guys. Hey, thanks for riding along with me today. I appreciate you guys. See if I can find us a postcard. South, making our way to Port Aransas. I saw a uh, a comment on Facebook someone left on the Port Aransas tourist group. We arrived in Port Aransas Friday night. We went to the Gaft Bar. They had good food and drink, good atmosphere. Saturday morning we ate at the Island Cafe. It was okay. Nothing special. For lunch we went to and for like you get her five day report on where she ate oh uh went to the nail salon it was a pricey uh, for two hundred dollars for the two of us won't go back and uh then she commented you know i went into so-and-so beach shop it was okay but sold mostly tourist stuff that's what they sell at a beach shop <laughs> but never once in her itinerary and review did she say oh I went to the beach and really enjoyed it I saw dolphins I saw turtles and I was just thinking like lady couldn't you have stayed in your suburb and, and eaten out and done your nails like like why did you come here you know I I, 
I just don't get that mindset. I go to the beach to go to the beach. That's my rant for the day. Get off my lawn. In my travels with my buddy Greg, now Greg's from this area, knows every little thing, really uh, fun to ride along with. Greg did not know about this cemetery and my local friends call it the Mexican Cemetery because there's a historical marker up here and it tells you how this land was donated uh, and it's mostly for Mexican Americans that lived here. And uh, Greg didn't know about it. And I said to Greg jokingly, uh, I'm starting to doubt your, uh, what, how did I word it? Mexican, it's a, <laughs> Mexican, wow, tongue tied. Mexican ethnicity, but I made it one word. Well, I guess it was funnier then. I wonder why certain sections are fenced off. But it was nice on our little travels, I could show Greg something that he hadn't seen yet. No visitors after dark. Because that's when the vampires and the zombies come out. You know, I'm always on the lookout for a porta potty. And I really wonder what the uh, what's the condition of that one. <laughs> porta potty is only as clean as the last person that used it. I like this little wooded area. In Arkansas, I came across several cemeteries where they were kind of back in the trees and there were some Confederate soldier graves and there was a uh, cemetery not too far from my friend's house in Mansfield, Arkansas. And uh, it's called the Slave Cemetery. And it does have more recent That statue came from Mexico. That's like a big deal. Uh, it had more re uh, recent burials as well. But I wasn't sure if you were allowed to go into that cemetery. And I've since found out that you can. So when I go back, I definitely want to go check that out. There's a Marine Corps flag back in there. Got a message from my buddy Brian. Brian used to work at the orange juice factory, but he got canned. It's a shame. He just couldn't concentrate. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Made it to the Aransas Pass border. This is Fowler Lumber. And I've come here a few times over the years when our local place in Rockport didn't have what we needed. Paint, hardware, plumbing door screens. And that's how you know you're in a small town. <laughs> lightweight concrete steps inside. Lightweight concrete. You don't see that very often. And it's an old beat up building, which I enjoy. They have some stuff back here. And some more stuff over here. I like older businesses like this that have been here a very long time. I think it's pretty cool. And the sun's coming out. I'm glad we got that little bit of rain that we did get.
wonder where Jamie Macon is. <laughs> Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching. Still making our way to Port Aransas.